Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Somos Biology. This video is very important for many of you, but not for all of you. Because this video is all about those who are working really hard in any company and trying to get something out of it and also try to qualify CSI and examination along with it. This video is about every single woman who are fighting to get a chance to qualify CSI and NET with a fully fledged family, maintaining that, maintaining kids and everything. So this video is about working professional. This video is about mother. And I salute them because they are doing so many jobs together. And during that time frame, it becomes very crucial to manage your time and to get yourself focused and dedicated to qualify a tough exam like CSRNet. But let me tell you one thing, it is doable, absolutely doable. I have seen students done that before, students from my coaching institute done that before, students from other places done that before, so you can do that too. The most important thing for this particular category of mindset is to first believe in yourself that you can do that, you can qualify this examination, there is no big deal, you can still qualify. But you need to be realistic, you need to be practical and you need to find a proper way and I am here to provide you that way with this short video. Do not skip the video, you may uh, you know, invest your time 8 to 10 minutes in many important things and non-important things as well but this 7-8 minute is going to change your life. So what I am going to share today are some important tips and points with which you can qualify CSR net with a very good score as a mother as a working professional and as a working mother okay all these three so what you need to do before going into all the tips only one thing that i want to ask you and i want a proper answer from you the realistic answer from your side ask yourself a simple question do you put qualifying csi net above everything in your life currently that is going on if the answer is yes you can qualify this exam and if you don't believe getting this fellowship matter for you, then you cannot qualify. Mindset is the biggest difference maker for any competitive exam like CSI. So keep yourself asking this question. You have a family, you have kids, fine. You are working in some other company. You may like that, you may not like that work, but you need to get some salary to run your family. But do you want to put CSI net fellowship? Do you want to get into the position of a researcher? Do you want to work in the field of academics with the subject that you've learned? If the question's answer is yes, then you are in right track, you will definitely qualify. If the answer is no, if you are shaky about it, then I'm afraid you must leave this place and you continue your journey in the other direction. So once you decide that yes, you can do this, you can qualify, then we are in this track, then this video is for you. Because here I am going to give you 5 important tips as a working professional, as a mother, to qualify CSR at examination. When I say working professional and a mother, so there are 3 different species we are talking about. A working professional and a mother and a working mother. So if we go gradually, the difficulty level increases. For a working professional is increasing. Why? Because you need to devote a lot of time to your current organization. 8 hours, 10 hours in traffic, 2-3 hours in the traffic and then come to home and start studying. And the biggest obstacle for that is distraction. Because in work life there will be distraction. In weekends you will get weekend holidays but they won't be holiday because you have other plans. And the moment you get some, you know, get some amount money in your pocket, start thinking of this idea that I got some money. So what is the point of even applying for net and do all these things? It becomes very difficult. Money is the biggest roadblock for you because you get a salary. You decide that you know I'm getting a salary. Why I should go for net? Salary mil raha achcha kaise toh main net ke liye kyu jaau? So salary sabse bara roadblock hoga as a working professional. And as a mother, what will be the roadblock? the generation next to you because there there are plenty of people surrounding you who always will try to remind you that you will fail that you cannot qualify 
all those person you know them they are very close acquaintances of yours but they will always make sure that you never believe the idea that you qualify because your time will be divided in so many people in so many activities right 6 month time frame will be nothing to you compared to those who have just qualified msc so it will be a lot hard for you time management will be biggest issue for you and for a working mother working mother is another species where they still get to manage the time to work and to also maintain their own family but again both of this time is divided so in that case again it will be a big challenge to manage the time to even have the push for moving into qualifying and, and reading all these books and everything because you'll be detached with the reading you'll be detached with the the habit of reading and studying so that will be a biggest roadblock so all these different species they have different roadblocks you need to think of these roadblocks and to get rid of them one by one then only you can see the finish line right so what are the tips that i want to share first is planning your studies very important then you plan your study for this essay and preparation planning your study means basically here you need to plan find a routine for the study i'm not going to give you a routine like that because i believe all of you have a different lifestyle a different set of routine on your own so you need to design a routine that fits yourself do not buy routines from other places you cannot keep up with them and you will leave and if you fail to keep up you will get demotivated you leave the coaching don't do that build your own routine based on the time that you get if you are getting time in the morning study in the morning if you are getting time in the night study in the night it's your choice it's your call next is selected topics you cannot study 13 topics in 6 months as a working professional as a mother you cannot do that be practical i'm not talking about exceptions there will be exceptions everywhere but in reality you can only study 6 to 8 units 10 units maximum so what are those units find the units how to find important units i already have videos regarding most important unit for part c most important unit for part b watch those lectures right you'll get to know about what you need to study but usually unit 1 unit 3 unit 4 unit 5 unit 6 unit 8 unit 10 unit 13 these are the most important next move to use online resources this is the third important point you won't have time to read peer reviewed books although it's always advised to read peer reviewed books like leninger like bruce alvers lodish uh, reading kubi reading all this gilbert all these books you cannot do that you don't have that time why shomus biology is for we have more than 3000 lectures biggest more than any other channel in the world because i still have this goal that any topic you search that is related to biological science should come up in my channel that's what i'm making videos for not targeting any particular exam but that is the actual idea so you'll get all the videos if you search in my channel you'll get every single videos there are playlists dedicatedly made for individual unit of csa and examination you can prepare it from my channel you, you take somos biology as your reference point you just go inside my channel and search the topic you will find probably you'll find the video almost every single topic that you search for and read them use this online resources use any other online resource that you like move to practice regularly is very very important for a working professional for a mother to practice regularly because you'll forget more often than the actual students because i not i'll not put this tag of students on you because students are students have this brain and uh, they kind of learn things fast because they are always in contact with reading and learning and reading and learning this phase but as you as a working professional let's say you have done work for 2 years 3 years you know it takes ages to understand and learn and retain something but you'll forget very easily right this is there is a reason that i never left uh, my teaching and uh, the profession of teaching and go for phd and other work because of the same idea because i start to forget things because i'll be channeled to only few things only particular topics i don't want to do that i need to go from unit 1 to 13 all by myself and i retain that only by repetitively studying them 
and explaining them to students. So that is the only possible way. Every six months, I go from one to thirteen unit. So that's why I remember things. So practice regularly is very very important because as you have more age, your neuroplasticity is going to decrease. So to counter that, the only thing is repeatedly hit your brain with this same information, so that it's imprinted. And last important thing is stay healthy and take breaks. As a working professional, there will be time at your profession which will which will break you. There will be time that will break you, that will drain you up, and will decide of quitting, feel of quitting. So it's very important that take breaks in the middle. As a mother, as a working professional, take breaks from your regular day-to-day -day monotonous life. You need to break that day-to-day -day monotony of your life. Get into holidays, get somewhere which you like, do something that you like. Okay? No, don't feel bothered about others, what others think and decide. This is very, very important to take breaks and also to stay healthy. Stay healthy physically, stay healthy mentally is even more important. If you are not healthy, if you always look at other people's profile in internet and see them doing different things and you feel inferior, then you'll never qualify. So if possible, get rid of the social media. You don't need them. You need YouTube for videos, it's fine. Just stay, stay into YouTube and, and just make the videos offline and see that. Do not enter into other people's life, other people's perspective. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is to get yourself better. Your competition is with yourself and you want to get better with time. So that's what you should focus on. If you follow these five important tips, then you can overcome the obstacles and the roadblocks that may have fallen before you. And you can qualify the CSINET examination just fine without any glitch. But again, to be practical, how many hours a day you should put? How many hours a day you should prepare? and what category you should apply GRF or LS. Regarding that, I have two separate videos. Watch those videos regarding how many hours, you, uh, hours a day you should study and also regarding the application profile so that you get to know about all this in details. But that is our actual motto. Believe in yourself and follow these tips and you will qualify for sure. All the very best. And if this tip helps you, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. And also mention if you like any important phases on your life journey in the comment section so that other viewers get motivated from your life's journey. Thank you.